Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on uh, the Ghost and Phantom 2 of Ahsoka from Ahsoka. Yeah, that has recently been released. Yeah. So on the front of the large box here, we have uh, both the Ghost and Phantom 2 in action, and Shin Hati's Starfighter in the corner, and also that LEGO and Star Wars logos, and same border that we've been seeing since last year, but... But however, in turquoise and Ahsoka in the corner, signifying that it's from Ahsoka, of course. And then recommended ages is 10 and up. Set number 75357 has has 1,394 pieces. And all the meat things included down below and there. And now onto the back of the box. The picture of, of the Ghost and Phantom 2 together and resting in some hangar bay and also the two logos again and also all the features of it and also in a little, uh, what's it called, a uh, shot view of its interior space, but yeah. And that's about it with the box there. <laughs> And now onto the instruction manual, which kind of odd CGI rendering of it, like we've been seeing on all the manuals since last year. And then add for the transition to paper bags and add for the builder app. And then on the back side, how to win on the online survey. Then all the pieces that come with the set. And then, which is three pages. And then all the sets of this current uh, wave, of course. Well, some of the sets, that is. And then the last building steps. So first of which we would have General Hera Syndulla, which is a obviously updated version of Syndulla, of Hera Syndulla, which first time we've been seeing since like 2016 or so, or 2015, 16, for, or at least 14 since, since the last version we've had for, was for Star Wars Rebels, of course. Uh, however, the torso printing kind of similar to what she had before then, and of course, face printing also kind of similar to her previous ones, of course. But however, her back hair piece, helmet hair piece, which the torso or little printing on top part of which does look quite good for how it is, and printing's quite the same as it has been since 2014, of course. So nice to see back here, of course, and then. Next to which we have c 110 p otherwise Chopper. However, his headpiece of which kind of similar to what we had since 2014 and or last time 2016-17. But however, any leg pieces, exact same as they've been since 2014, of course. Well, that in that case for Star Wars Rebels, of course, but however, the uh, head body piece of, in the center of which all new and looks quite good for how it is but however the for the short leg pieces quite glad to see still used here and also does have a bottom kind of piece to it and a flat stud on top quite different than what he had before but however nice to see updated version of chopper here and so now we would have lieutenant beta which the torso printing kind of similar to what we had with uh, Captain Porter in the Ewing uh, Shin Hattie Starfire set of this way. But at least kind of, and also similar to most uh, X Wing pilot jumpsuits. This power, the headpiece of which kind of just like we had with uh, 
with uh, with Admiral Akbar, and of course, well, last time we saw this was in 2020 with for Lieutenant back in the Galaxy's Edge set, of course. But however, it's nice to see here, of course, that how are all the printings, which looks quite really good for how it is. Although the shaping of it kind of similar to what we had with Amoratus from Rogue One, of course, but yeah. And the next to which have have for the first time as a fig is Jason Sudula, which is Hera and Kanan Jarrus' son of which, of course, <coughs> are the face printing quite good for and torso printing really, really good for how it is. Are the hair piece of which is kind of questionable for that. Well, it's a quite good hair piece, but if you notice in the show and also previously in Star Wars Rebels, of which, and it would in dark green, but in, but on this mini fig, it's in dark brown. All of, or maybe the, if there could be an updated version of this set, then maybe include that, like they did with Kanan Jarrus in the original uh, 2014 Ghost set. But maybe that's just me. But maybe if they put him out again in a different set, then maybe include that hair piece in green, which more proper to him, but yeah. And then lastly, what is First Officer Hawkins? So which the hair piece of which kind of bit as we've had since like 2015 for Finn, or at least also for Black Panther, of course. But over the torso printing, kind of all right for how it is, but also not at all the leg printing as well. Our face printing, quite good and well suiting to him, but yeah. And to the back sides of each of them. And where's both Hera and Dula? Hera and Jason Sandula. Which only wants to have back face printing, and also all the rest do have some good back torso printing, and whereas uh, Chopper's uh, back head and torso printing also all looks good for how it is. So I guess that is about it with this main fig selection of course. First up for the builds is the Phantom 2. And this is which kind of similar to what we had with the first version of this back in 2017, but of course this is which a downscale to fit in with this set, of course. Whereas for the front part of which it is comprised mostly of like jack of curved slopes with one of which that has a sticker on it of course so there's plenty of stickers throughout this set of course and then as for these corner parts of which which are on curved hinges there's a which to make it work but although kind of questionable why there's the large gaps here but what can you do and also do have those kind of modified t-bar pieces but used as blasters of which but you don't get any blasters on this set like the other two versions of it did but however however the cockpit piece just about like we or canopy piece like we saw with the uh mid-sized y-wing within the uh, Yavin 4 base set of this year but however but it does have a couple of stickers on it but fits well for that and if you can kind of see in there a little control panel on a tile printed tile piece there and of course you can flip this open and just enough space to fit your oh, adjacent minifig into which on the box cover is like that and yeah it does well work out for him <coughs> and then on the sides part of which have those kind of ridge pieces and going down to that tile and also to one bit of, the only bit of another snot bit which 
has those large curved kind of bricks, but on the sides, which is nice to see there. And then as for the top wing fin, which does have this nice uh, stickered brick onto it, uh, which just about like the early 2017 one also did nice to see there. But as, as for the other side, of which there's one bit of asymmetricality, which is on this spot and this spot. But there is a reason for that. Which if you take a chopper and take his head off and then just plop it onto there. Just like so. I was representing when chopper is on it. It and part of it. So it's kind of like the early uh, V-Wing sets where you just had to take the uh, astronaut droid's headpiece off and put it on to them there. Although what I would suggest is maybe just like the giant interceptor sets and all the other sets, most other sets, is just figure out how to have a large open space to fit the chopper into or just have a space to put him into. Like both Phantom 1 and 2, of course. But as for the back side of which, it does have a cheese slope but with a sticker on it, of course, and also a little bit of green link with the uh, gold bar piece in white. And also a little bit of thrust on the back side, which and also have this little uh, chest area which you can slide open, and also a couple space to fit both a blaster and a uh, little uh, binocular piece into, of course. So this one overall, quite good for how it is. Well, nice, a few good updates from the original 2017 version of it, but, oh, but, but of course, why scale down like this, which we'll see later, but yeah. And now finally, on to the main course of the set, which being the ghost. Okay. But of course, a quite iconic ship that we never seen any remakes of since 2014, but however, seeing it here of which, great to see. And of course, although there is a few spots that have been updated which I'll go soon go over, but however nice to see here, but yeah. Although some of the bits of which are almost similar to the previous 2014 version, but and, it, and of course, if you have a bother with that, well, this is your opportunity to do so. Or to get your own one. But as for this front cockpit kind of area, which has the dome part and also the top canopy kind of parts of which, and however, the shaping of which kind of similar to the 2014 version of that. But however, and also a little gun turret underneath it, but one major update is if you like push on it back and forth, it, it makes the spring load launchers launch off. So, which nice touch to see there, even though it kind of makes it lose too easily. And also, you can like, like get somewhere on there and just pull it right off, and you get a little bit of a cockpit view part of it which has a few jumpers on it and also uh, corner plates but with a little sticker on them with stickers on them. and also a little steering wheel made of like like the lightsaber hilt piece of the inquisitor lightsabers but however it can like fit any make it possible usually Hera but put it on there and slide it in like so Although what would have been better is if it were able to fit two figs side by side in it, since she and Jason kind of fly around in this in the show. But what can you do? With this top section, which has a large sticker on it, unfortunately. And then open that up, and then a little bit of a section where you can take another fig and sit them right onto there as well. And it closes up over them as well. But then still on this exterior space, which is a oh, whoops. 
but it's mostly white, but also has plenty of quarter plates in sand blue, sand green, and also yellow, of course. And also some red, also like the original uh, version did. And also interesting use of snot here, or revels, which are comprised of mostly these jumper plates and rounded plates as well. And then further down have a like a paint roller piece used as a uh, agreeable detail. Very nice to see there. And then also this top section, which has some like odd viewer slopes and just on both sides of it, and a little turret on there, of course. And so I have interesting technique with these, both these uh, corner plates and this uh, curved slope there. And also a couple little interesting builds for the escape pods, but unlike with the 2014 one, you can't, they just don't pop off and act as escape pods. Kind of unfortunate there, but whatever. But underneath the winch, have this spot that pulls down and is a boarding ramp. And it kind of acts as a boarding ramp. Well, if you had nano figs to do so, then. But however, this farther back section, some of the same stuff going on, but however, this open back section, which comprises of the engine parts, which lead down to these interesting new engine parts, and also these small and larger dish pieces, but in trans blue and with a sparkly effect to them. Even though we've usually seen that in both uh, Marvel and Harry Potter, but great to see that going on here in Star Wars. And however, that uh, Technic peak rod there, and also this uh, uh, jumper plate there, which I'll go over later. But yeah. But however, this whole roof section, you can just pop right off. Quite easily. And now onto the interior space of it. Which has plenty of stuff going on. Like a kind of a caution uh, part there. And also a gold bar piece in silver and a couple of little columns there. But on this one side, do you have? Kind of a little uh, sink there. I'm probably not sure why, but whatever. And also a little creek that you can pop right off. And then inside of which holds a little pumpkin or something. Well, well it's Star Wars, not sure why I do so. And also, if you notice those tan jumpers there, uh, which is where you can uh, stand chopper on to, of course. And also how spacious it is. Uh, quite spacious, like the original one and the Millennium Falcon set, of course. And, uh, however, also forgot to mention is kind of nice use of these curved plates here, like if I put the roof part back on, it kind of lines up well with that. I also forgot to mention is for this top roof section, I think, is you can just put that open, and then also do have just a couple of brown plates or tiles on there where you can sit a fig onto like so and close it right over them very nicely which nice to see there unlike with the 2014 version of the ghost where you just had to like pull something out and do that with but however this which all in the same build section so that's good and then back to this back section is what those are for is with the phantom 2 including here can like Put it on like so, and also nice and stable, and nice and held on quite well, almost just as much as the original uh, uh, Phantom One and Two sets to the original Ghost set. But however, in the case of this one, it is rightful in scale for that, which 
nice great to go on here even though in the original phantom 2 set on the original ghost set didn't seem to work out quite well but whatever but so large update here and i think great one but yeah and so now on to the final verdict So overall, I think this was a great set. Like, great to see both the Ghost and Phantom 2 again. Well, first time in a decade or in less than a decade for the Phantom 2, that is. And also great to have both Hera and Chopper again in a set as well. And also nice to have Jason Sindula as well. That, and as for the price for pizza, which is quite good for how it is, even though it which may not have as many figs as the Yabba 4 base set of which, but at least some bits of which are still worth holding on to, and, and of course some features of which, which may be similar to the original Ghost, kind of a, different than the original Ghost set, but however they're still there, and kind of, and that's well what matters, but yeah. And also nice to see another mid-scale a size vehicle with the Phantom 2 set, which hopefully they might do some more in the future, but yeah. And also as for the size, which also quite good for how it is, you know, it may be almost as much as the Yavin 4 base uh, set of this wave, but even though it, uh, it of course nice and sturdy and also well compact and everything, but yeah. And of course, this which, and of course, some bits may not be as similar to the original Ghost set, but at least, unless if you can just wrap your head around it a bit and start getting used to that, but then maybe this will grow on you, but yeah. And so now if you've completely missed out on the original Ghost and Phantom 2 set, well, definitely get this set. And if you're looking to continue your uh, Star Wars collection and have this for the Ahsoka side of things, then definitely pick this up. And if you got the money to get this set, then also definitely pick this up. But yeah. And if you and and thank you for watching. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.